champions Jung Su Wei, Huang Ya Chong taking on Indonesian hopeful, hopefuls in Dijan for Denansha and Gloria Emmanuel Wijaja. That's what's coming up here on Court 2 very, very shortly. As we see the technical officials make their way, looking at that mixed doubles, we can see three of the four quarterfinals booked. And uh, it is the winner of this match who will take on the number five seeds, Kua Varanuko and Tara Tanachai in the quarters, with the likes of uh, world champion Seo and Che potentially waiting in the semi-finals, but four different nations in the quarterfinals, right, that's for sure. Two, mixed As we see, Zheng Su Wei and Wang Ya Chong, a popular mixed doubles pairing, the world number ones who've tasted plenty of success in Denmark. Here at the Denmark Open, as I mentioned, are two-time champions. They're indeed the defending champions, having won the 2022 edition when they beat compatriots Fang and Huang in three games. Looking to continue their title defense here against these two, Dejan Ferdinandia and Gloria Emmanuel Vijaja, the world number 20. Who will be looking to upset the odds. More importantly, secure hopefully a first victory over Zhang and Huang in their career. Zhang Suwei, Huang Yachong, also successful in Denmark earlier this year when they got to the final of the World Championships, but settled for silver medal, losing out to Siu and Che in the final. So you get to choose. So they've gotten to the final in Denmark before right. in 2023, right. looking to do the same here in so Onze. We see the head-to-head -head record at three zip. This is their fourth meeting. Last met at the China Open this year in the second round where Zheng and Huang won 21-5, 21-17. Before that, the World Championships in Copenhagen this year in the third round. And the Chinese pair won that 21-14, 21-9. And before that, it was the Malaysia Open at the start of the year. It was a semi-final stage where Zheng and Huang came through also in straight games, 21-16, 21-18. Zhang Suwei now 26 years of age, the right-hander from Zhejiang, China, enjoying the world number one ranking with his partner Huang Yachong. They've enjoyed it on and off since 2018. More on than off, really. Zhang Suwei also was world number one with his former partner Chen Ching Chen. So someone who is who's made it a habit of being on top, at the top of his game, at the top of the world rankings. 29 years of age, Wang Yachong, also from Zhejiang. And uh, these two have a win-loss record of 42 to 7 this year, having lost only seven matches so far in the year. It's been pretty impressive. What is more impressive is their second round record. As we see there, they beat Greg, Gregory Mez and Jenny Moore in the first round, 20 to 20. Got pretty close in that first game. And then 21-10 in the second, 35 minutes altogether. But they're through to the second round, and what I was saying is their second round win-loss record this year is at 11 zip, 11 nothing, 100% win record in the second round in 2023 for Zhang and Huang. For Dejan Ferdinandia, he's 23 years of age, right-hander from Garut, Indonesia, world number 20 with his partner, Rijaja. They've gone up to as high as number 14 in the world. That was back in May of 2023. Gloria Manuel Bujaja, the older of the two at 29, very tall lady, 182 centimeters tall. And she's gone up to number six in the world with her former partner in Hafiz Faisal. They have a win-loss record this year of 23 to 20, so pretty close, almost 50%. In round twos, not the best record um, six wins to seven losses they won just two in their last five second round matches they beat Lamsfus and Lohau in three hard-fought games just under an hour 13 21 21 15 21 19 there as we see the officials for this match and it's Michael fire fiery Dahl of Norway 
joined by Austria's Sarah Shah Husseini in the service judge's chair. Get ready for the players to get this match underway. Oh. Can they maintain their 100% win record in second round, Jiang and Hang, or will it be an upset of mammoth proportions for Ferdinand Shea and Mujaja? On my right, Cheng Jiwei, Wang Yaqiong, China. And on my left, Dejan Ferdinand Shea and Gloria Emanuel Mijaya. Indonesia. Gloria oh. Emanuel, the giant to serve the Shang Shi Wei. Love all. Play. The judge will serve oh. to get the second round match underway. Apologize, the service judge is Philip Ayung Chi of USA and not the Austrian. He's in the service judge's chair, as you see on the right hand side of the screen there. That's a good start. Aggressive play from Jung. Taking two love lead. Straight game wins so far over their opponents in their previous three matches. Three, love. So the first task here for Ferdinand and Rijaja is to try and get a game off the number one seeds. Something they haven't been able to do yet. Ah, oh, good saves. But it pays off in the end, the persistent smashing. One, they find themselves three. on the scorecard. Yeah, that one was well saved, and then Ferdinand and Shep persisting with the smashes from the back court. Well, we talk about that 100% win loss record in the one. second round. But in their career as a pair, they've only lost two matches in the second round. Their win-loss record, their career win-loss record at senior level stands at 53 to 2. That's superbly impressive for Zheng and Huang. Five, two losses one. coming at the 2022 World Championships to Hong Kong's Chang and Ng in three games, and before that at All England 2020, if you remember. Famously lost to Tabling and Peak in the second round in two games. And those were the only two second round matches they've ever lost. Oh, finds the net, Wang Yachang. Uncharacteristic mistake from the 29-year-old. Zheng and Huang taking early control. <coughs> oh, 
That's the outside line there. Lands out, well left by Ferdinand Schiff. Point game. Oh! Oof. Well, this is unusual for Huang Yachong. There's no doubt about Five, that. Seven. A couple of times we've seen her drive the shuttle straight into the net. You've got to give credit to the Indonesians here because they've not only kept pace, but they've been able to put Huang under pressure at the net. Oh! Ah, and there we go again, Six. that time on the return. One point game. Just about get themselves out of trouble Eight, there, Zheng and Huang, because six. at one point there was miscommunication. They were both traveling together from end to end. It's Ferdinand Scher who makes a mistake in the end. Oh! 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 Well, this is certainly an interesting start. For, let's say the top seeds who've been put under some pressure here, uh, struggled to find winners. It's good recovery. The Indonesians have to be a little bit careful not to give away too many chances. They're doing really well to stay in touch with the world number ones here. In fact, you'd say that they've forced plenty of errors off the top seeds, which is unusual. You see there again. So they've got to keep as close as possible and then find those chances as one-off opportunities to get the better of their opponents. And the run at the Malaysia Open, that semi-final run at the Malaysia Open, was one of two semi-final appearances on the World Tour for Ferdinand and Vijaja. The second one was at the Badminton Asia Championships, where they got the bronze medal after losing to Jiang and Wei in the semi-finals. They got to the final of the Kaohsiung Masters not so long ago and uh, lost out to Nishi and Saito in three. First final of the year as well. So, on the up are these two. Jungsu Wei slips, oh! and she's just not able to hold court there. Wang Ya Chung, shake of the head from Jung. Service over. 
my ten. Just luckily, it's not any kind of injury that he's picked up, but he did definitely slip there on the move. Lost footing. Thank you. 40 shots that rally, leaving Hong Ya Chong all out on court to try and defend, which proved to be an impossible task. And so it's a one point game. This is a very good start by the Indonesian pair. As a level scores here. Just maintaining that fast-paced exchanges throughout. And it's Zhang who makes the mistake at the net. Well, they get themselves out of trouble. Hold on to that one-point lead at the mid-game break. Zhang Siwei, Huang Yachong. But it has not been smooth sailing for the top seeds, that's for sure. To the credit of these two, Fernancha and Vijaja. So 11 10. Play. In this first game, Jung and Huang edging their opponents at the moment. That's a much better shot. Keeps it low but manages to go behind Vijaja. Yep, Ferdinand should not be have able to make ground there. Shot to make. Well, Jung Suwei on the floor again. Yeah, it was a really well played net shot from Ferdinand Shea as it just rolls over. And Jung Suwei dashing forward to try and make it on the floor. Twelve all. Oh! Oh! They look a bit baffled at the moment, Zhang and Huang. As Ferdinand is just running circles around them. Finds that outside line perfectly. And it's the Indonesians who have the lead. Strong a nice little run of three points. That's brought to an end by Huang at the net. Oh! 
Nacho has been very, very strong from the back court. And down the line winner. Her left. Pulled out. Well, they were pushed all the way in the first game. That's the last round as well by Gregory oh! oh! Mears and Jenny Moore. 15, 14. Before they cruised in the second. And a similar story here against Ferdinand and Rijaja for Zhang and Wang. Oh! Yeah. So Changed her mind right at the end there, Wang Ye Chong. It's 15 all. Trying to muscle his way out of this one. Jaja Service over. Rushes 16, into that net 15. shot. You could see that Junks away was just trying to outpower his opponents there. Jaja is the one who makes the mistake instead. Holding on to the lead here, just about. That's yeah, good defensive work. Oh! We're playing on that forehand. Right down by Ferdinand Scher. Again, very intelligent play. Jiang Suwei was already in defensive mode. Couldn't do much with that. Good serve. Well, it's far, been far from easy for these two. Jiang and Huang. So with every winner they find, it's been a bit of a celebration between them. That one, of course, forcing the Indonesians to make the mistake, but in that kind of first game where Jung and Wang have looked far from confident. It's the first two-point lead that they've had since 12-10. And that tight. Yes. Oh. Nice net shot. You can see even the Coach immediately yelled out a yes from the corner, jumps away. Nice climb net shot there. He's happy with that. Three point lead. At a very crucial stage. Two points away from taking this first game after a Sluggish start. Oh, well played indeed. Freddy Nancho once more showing his backcourt prowess there. Yeah, 
it's just nudging the shuttle away from the Chinese pair. Most of their opportunities, Jung and Huang. And here they find themselves on three game point opportunities. They've come out of a sticky situation pretty well, you'd say, the top seeds. And that's probably what makes them top seeds. They always find their way out of these difficult situations. Again, Huang Yu Chong. Service over. <laughs> well, they're having a conversation at the end of the point, Jung and Huang. You can see that it was Huang Yu Chong who was on the back foot throughout that exchange, hesitant almost with her shot making. Still got two game points. Yang. On the second game point, they do convert. Zhang Siwei and Huang Yachong edge their opponents out 21-18 in this first game. It's not been smooth sailing at all for the top seeds. They've had to work hard, but they've managed to come out on top in this first game. That's what's most important, as they have the advantage now. Jangan就是不不不。Jangan Change of ends and uh, Jung and Wang having taken the first game 21 18. Despite the best efforts of Ferdinand Chen Rijaja, who really took the game to their higher ranked opponents there. And we saw during the interval there, the two minute interval, that Rijaja was applying something to the top half of her leg, the thigh region, something cold. Whether she's pulled a muscle or maybe just a niggle, niggle on the thigh. out <laughs> fist bump in the air from Ferdinand Vajaja as he finds himself on the scoreboard. It'll be interesting to see how Zhang and Wang respond having taken the first game because they were far from their 
usual best sells in that first game. Now whether it's about having overcome that, will they build on this momentum? Or can Vijaja and Ferdinand should do something here? Misjudge the length again. What's happened on this court, we've seen so far, is that players have struggled to find the back lines. It's over. Three, two, three. And that's on both ends. It's not been one end more dominant than the other. That the judge, she knows it. it over. Four, two. Four. Oh, it's a hard shot to return. Came quite steep at the judge. She misses the back line once more. Five, two. Errors are flowing thick and fast off the Indonesian's racket at the moment. likely to happen with Zheng and Huang. They sense an opportunity here to close it out in two. They've sort of found their footing in this match now. Good defensive work by Huang. Oh, he just misses it. Looking for the outside line. Seven, two. It's a five point lead instead for Zheng and Huang. Persisted there, the judge of the net. Read that well. And Huang Chong unable to respond. Oh, good reaction. Just skims the corner of the court there. Jung Su Wei came charging forward on that. Persisted with the cross court. Pulls off that winner. Six point lead. the head finds the net instead but persistent play by Ferdinand and Vijaja on the other end 
happy to just defend, encourage their opponents to attack, and hope that they make the mistake. She was trying to get an insect out of the court. Wang Ya Chong. That's a great rally. Jung and Huang. They were in full flow there. He's on the way. And it took everything so from Ferdinand and Rijada to keep that rally four. alive, and they did well for the longest time. But there was no let up coming from the other end of the court. So it's Jung and Huang who. Open up a six point lead once more. They won eight of the last ten points. Oh. Oh. Four call. Too high. Service for Service over. Five. first of the match. Ten. Fantastic cross court backhand from Ferdinand. Scher. It's really tight, close to the net. And Zhang Siwe trying to change direction. That one there. Unable to keep his shuttle in. Three points. Nine, Smart play overall. Oh. Ah. That time at the net by Rijaja. They're going all out here, Jung and Wang. Oh. And it's Ferdinand Cher who can't get his smash across. 11, as it's Jung and Wang who have the lead at the break, 11-7. Certainly feeling their game at the moment. The world number ones. As you see Ferdinand Cher trying to close out that point and make the mistake instead. Under pressure from their opponents. So it's 11-7 at the break. Please welcome the technical officials to court number three. Nine, 
Number three, women's doubles from China, Liu Chengchu and Le Ning. that they've not 13, seven. can sense the finish line, Jung and Huang. <laughs> Look at the drop on that one. Quality drop. <laughs> he really enjoyed that. Yep, double thumbs up. 13-7. That's starting to get away from the Indonesians. Let's land it out. Corner there brilliantly junks away. That was Huang Yichang who did all the hard work at the build up to that winner. Pulling Wijaja and Fernandesha to one end of the court, oh. opening up the court. 15 7. <laughs> Superb response. What a reply. 17, 7. Fully attacked that serve on the return. Oh! Oh! Ten point lead. And this is pretty much how the first round kind of played out for Jung and Wang, where they made the slow start and then just found another level as soon as they got through the first game. Hey, 
Jaja and Fernandes have run out of ideas here. out attack from Zhang and Huang. Two points away from clinching the win. Eight point run. So nine point run at the moment. Jung and Huang, look at that. Oh, he tried to defend that. That was a bit of a stretch. It's the right idea from Ferdinand Schott trying to go cross court. Yep. Just flicks the racket, trying to send the shuttle on the opposite corner. It was a fair bit of ground for Jung Su Wei to make. There's an end to the nine point run. Lovely, lovely oh. net shot. Line 19. Tips the shuttle oh. over. Good play from Bujaja. Takes it early and just nudges it across front of Jung. Oh. That brings up. Numerous match point opportunities for Zheng and Huang. Pounces on the serve there, Zheng Suwei. And they secure it on the first time of asking. Zheng Suwei and Huang Nechong maintain that 100% win record in round two this year. Through to the quarterfinals once more. The defending champions of Denmark put on quite the show in that second game, taking it 21 9. Not really allowing Ferdinand and Rijaja are looking. And it's a mistake from Vijaja that gives away the match. Final score, 21-18, 21-9 in 42 minutes. And it's Jiang Su Wei and Huang Yachuang who march on to the quarterfinals.
been watching court two coverage here on round two of the Denmark Open presented by Victor. And we're into our penultimate match of the day. And it's a men's singles action between Cho Chin Chen of Chinese Taipei and Kenta Nishimoto of Japan.